their attention span is somehow even shorter than mine. Wait, what was I saying? Anyhow, wake up, eat food for 12 hours, go to sleep, and I was like, what, what the heck's happening to me, man? So I looked it up on the internet, and as it turns out, I'm pregnant. Oh, wow, technically got Master's Division. Master's Division must not be that hard to get if even he can do it. It's literally like a golden retriever is like playing Minecraft right now in front of me. Look at this. Or maybe it's like some sort of cat. I don't know. Like I'm playing Skywars to forget about how alone I am. This really isn't helping. Strength beats pants. It's the moral of this story. I think I was born yesterday. It was actually last week. Thank you very much. And men equal tall. Women equal not quite as tall in general sometimes. When I first got to college, I, I had to get snacks for myself, obviously, so what I did was I bought these two things of lasagna. Don't ask questions. I just got some las I saw lasagna, okay, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna need lasagna in college. That's what, that's what college students need to survive. Lasagna. So I bought some lasagna. The problem is I then proceeded to eat the lasagna later, and now I don't have any lasagna. Every time I check that college email, it's not important stuff. It's, it's an email saying, hey, hey! Are you interested in joining the women's lacrosse team? And I'm like, you what you ask, you tell me, man. Am I interested in joining the women's lacrosse team? I don't think I am. I really, I don't think I am. I don't think, I, I, one of these days I'm just going to say, you know what? I am interested in joining the women's lacrosse team. And I'm going to show up. And they're going to be like, why are you here? I'm like, oh, I got an invitation. You guys sent me an email. Are you pulling out your bow? The bow is a well known for its great short range capabilities. Can't run away from all your problems. Not when they have ender pearls. God, I hate Submerge. Submerge is made entirely of two types of blocks. The Tears of Orphan Children and Half Slabs. We're supposed to read these uh, essays for English. And one of these essays was just like detailing this, uh, the effect of poverty and how it was a big problem in their, in their kingdom or whatever. And I'm just like, all right and he's gonna propose a solution. I can tell he's building up to what he thinks is gonna solve it. And then halfway through the essay, he just goes, and I know for a fact one-year-olds are delicious. And I go, what? But I'm already down to seven hearts. Fortunately, I have something that Dream doesn't. Comprehensive knowledge of ancient China. In a flash of inspiration, I remember that in 227 BCE, King Zhang once escaped from his assassin by circling behind a pillar. I replicate this mid-fight and heal to full health. Before I go in for the kill on 1.9, I want the enemy to make at least two mistakes. And here you see Dream's second mistake is letting me get a bunch of these axe crits for free. Of course, his first mistake was challenging me in the first place. Now I'm going into this thinking that the first thing I need to do is find a tree and punch it to collect wood, but the second thing I need to do is place a tactical crafting table. Now this is considered a forbidden technique in PvP circles. It's actually, I'm not actually allowed to explain it because uh, I had to get permission to learn this technique from the Minecraft elders, so you guys are going to have to figure that one out on your own. I'm sorry, but we just can't let that knowledge get into the wrong hands. Oh, Officer, whoa. I drop kicked that child in self-defense. <laughs> Yeah. You gotta believe me. <laughs> Everyone, let's point our guns at him while we're seated. It's like the U.S. school system. I think Obama is a good just placeholder for anyone I can scapegoat at any given time. I mean, Obama controls the Skywars loot tables, after all. It's common knowledge. The moral of the story here is that if you see a murder being committed, you should immediately call them a boomer. Who were the idiot settlers who thought that this was livable conditions? Who thought, oh, 18 degrees, I should build a city here. See, the thing is, if you live in a cold area, you probably, like, wear clothes. The main thing was the fact that I didn't have to talk to people, I just had to stab them, and I, that's something I can do. This one time it dropped to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and I had to turn on my car's seat warmers. I'm pretty sure I understand man's epic struggle against nature. I am vigorously offended by everything. You should post about it on Twitter. It's the first step to any world domination plan. We're stealing resources from Africa. Well, clearly, since I live in California, and my options are Spanish and French, let's consider what country is literally shares, sharing a border with California? France! I have 924,000 intelligence. Finally, I can understand Rick and Morty. When you need someone to fix your sink, you call a plumber. When you need someone to fix your electricity, you call an electrician. And when you need someone to overthrow a brutal tyrant, you call an anarchist, all right? That is why I am here today. Long live the revolution. I do not want to annoy an army of first grader moms.
believe me, your life is over. And he started canceling events too. Christmas, canceled. Halloween, canceled. That one event where that guy comes and sells for our pets, canceled. Things were getting canceled so fast, people thought it was Twitter. The skeleton horse can trample crops on other people's islands. <laughs> Just kidding, I'd never do something like that because I'm a good person. I'm having fun. I dropped out of college for this. Said if you have a problem, the answer is slavery. We got my boy Jacob here. He mines cobblestone for me all day. I, uh, I don't pay him, and he also has no rights. Oh, but Technoblade, doesn't that kind of sound like... Shh, I need cobblestone. Oh, cool. It transferred my stats from real life. Doesn't have a name. You don't have a name? Names are for people, and this man is poor. Because my dad was like, hey, can you go to the store and pick up my medicine? And I was like, can I really tell him that I'm not getting his medicine because I need to farm potatoes? Can I really? Look, I'm an atheist, but when God sends me to hell, I want him to hesitate, okay? I want him to hesitate for a few seconds. You can look up the Wikipedia page for the Mexican-American War to see what I'm talking about. Because on like one side, it's like, yeah, 10,000 people died, or maybe 25,000. No one actually knows for sure. And then you look at the Americans, and it's like, 1,733 people died, 1,721 of them were soldiers, 11 were Marines, and one was a sailor. Also, Jeffrey stubbed his toe. Write that down. I mean... <laughs> It's it's hilarious. It's like one side is sitting here like um 15,000 people may or may not have existed. We're not sure. And the other side is written down the full lineage of every soldier and his horse. So a big deal with the second Mongol invasion of Japan was that they uh, had massively outnumbered the Japanese and then they lost anyways. And it's just a huge embarrassment for everyone involved because apparently they massively outnumbered the Japanese and it's like uh, so they keep bringing up how much they outnumber them. So I think, "Oh, well, how much did they outnumber them?" Tell me that, sources. And they're like, no, we won't tell you. I'm like, what? But but you keep you keep talking about numbers. Like, yeah, but we don't have those numbers. Like, what? H how many samurai were defending the island? Well, we don't know. How, how do you... Okay, do you at least know how many Mongols there were? It's like, oh, yeah, sure, we, we got that. There were, uh, there were two million, or maybe less than 200,000. We're, we're honestly not sure. I just can't believe that after all that good talk about numbers, the numbers my sources would actually give me would be a question mark and an estimate so vague it might as well have come from Social Blade's estimated earnings. <laughs> Nothing fills me with fury than when you reference Greek mythology and people are like, oh, Zeus? Oh, I know him. He's the guy from Percy Jackson. And it's like, I, I will punch you in the face. I will punch you in the face right here. Don't say that. It, thou imagine thousands of years of mythology getting like passed down through oral storytelling since before writing was invented and then people know it from percy jackson imagine we can bait him oh no i'm afk i hope no one attacks me he's gonna fall for it because skywars players at the iq of a goldfish all right it's fine it's fine but to read this, after further review, we've determined that your video is in violation of our community guidelines. But which one? Which guideline? You gotta give me, you gotta give me some, like, some answers here. I, I need to, you don't send people to jail and tell them, why are they going to jail? Oh, it's because you broke the law. But which law was it? The law, silly! My first word of advice, if you want to get a good kill-death ratio in-game, you need to have a good kill-death ratio in real life. And killing flies is a good metaphor for fighting Bedwars players, because, you know, you're, you're outnumbered, there's like four of them, but the analogy kind of falls apart because flies are a whole lot more dangerous than Bedwars players. All it really did was make it so that when you type easy in the chat, it replaces it with with something random. This is a completely brilliant contraption which can only be countered by spelling the word correctly. Your block hit in the air, so we can tell you're a PvP god. Let's go cyber bully some teams. Oh, he has blocks too. And he fell off the map. I had no expectations and I still managed to be disappointed. Welcome to Bedwars. Because even though the screenshot he posted clearly shows my video only has 2% dislikes, he's talking mad trash and making demands. Like, I've been generous thus far, but you better do what I say or I'll cripple your career with another 5 dislikes. Maybe 6 if I don't get bored making new YouTube accounts. That was another episode of Skywars, guys. Be sure to smash that like button if you want to see more. Do I hear 12 billion likes? Did I break my printer?